Welcome back. So from now on and forward, I'll actually have a new folder available for you called Firebase. Inside that folder, I'm going to add each export from actual Firebase. So you have the actual data you can import into Firebase and use. Now, the reason I'm showing you this now is because I already changed the data. So I was thinking if you guys kind of try to map my structure, well, I'm sorry, but it's just changed into this now. So what I want to do in this new structure is actually I want to try and show you a few things like updating multiple areas at once and stuff like that. So I thought it could be cool just to play with another way to show the roles. So what I did is I made the roles with a unique ID and then they got a name now. Meaning that if I want to change the name, I can just do it once and then it'll actually, every place where this ID is used, it should actually be able to change that name. Now the other thing I did is I just moved the users inside this new place. So that should be, that should be it. So now we have users available inside the roles like we had before. The other thing I did is, and this is kind of, this means that we'll get redundant data. And redundant data is good when we need to read, but it's bad when we need to write. So reading, this will make it faster. Writing, this will make it a bit slower. But it doesn't matter because Firebase have made some pretty cool things for you to actually write data in multiple places. So let's say that we wanted to at some point update students actually. We would just update it here and then everywhere where this ID would match would just update it there as well. So I added a role directly under the user and in there I can just get the ID and the name. Now the cool thing is as soon as I read a user, I now know his role right away. I don't have to call the other table like a join. Even though it's fast, I don't have to do it. Uh, another thing you should notice is that it's outside of profile. So even if I go if I go in as a user, as a student, I cannot go in and override the role and pick a new one. You can only do that as admins or educators. Okay, so that's the new way it should look. And I added this file inside the next tag, so you can go and grab it inside tag 30. Um, but how do we actually import it into Firebase, right? So if I go to Firebase now, um, this is how it looks. So that's not the data I want. This is the old data. What you do is pretty simple. You just open this guy right here. You say import JSON, and then you find, pressing the browse, I'll find the file. So here I find my root project, and in there I find my Firebase folder that I just created for you guys, and then you just pick the JSON file. And this is the new one, this is the old one. This is the new one you're going to use from now on. The old one will be deleted in the next release. So I'll say open, and it'll warn me that if you do this, you'll lose all the data, and I'll just say import. And notice, it actually refreshes, and actually does a re live reload whoever is listening. That's all I had to do. So now my users actually have roles available and that this is what we just did is actually seeding the database. We filled in some pre-filled data for the database. Very simple way to do it. See you in the next lesson where we start using these roles. Have fun.